I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. It's been great. Come on, let's let's take this last leg. <laughs> Okay, so I got a great idea to do readings on four of the Trumps, and well, three of the Trumps and one of the Weiselbergs. And so I've done uh, all of those except for this one, and this might be the most important one of all. This is Mama T, Don, uh, Donald's Mama, Donald Mama, Donald Mama. That's who this is. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this is the uh, last video of the four that I tried to make, uh, gosh, uh, on uh, last, uh, fri uh, I don't know, a few days ago. But anyway, so this is going to be Mama Trump. Uh, I'm going to use the Wild Unknown Tarot. Love this deck, and uh, I don't know why I felt like this would be good for her, but we'll 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 use it. And it tells you right here uh, in the, the beginning for a little quote from Kim Kranz, the artist and the inventor of, of this version of the uh, Rider Waite system of cards. Uh, may you always be on the inner quest. May you always be on the inner quest. It's got a great guidebook. Uh, this uh, these are the depictions from Kim Kranz hand-drawn, and some wonderful descriptions that you can use in your divinations. And then it comes with what I like to call the inner sanctum. It's a box within a box. Another nice saying in here, I'll put it here, and if you want to take a minute to read it, then you've got it. And then the cards themselves are terrific. i put all this back together. And then we will get on with this reading for Mama Trump. These cards are fantastic. They're hand-drawn by Kim Kranz. When you see all this minute little detail, all this right here, this is this is her, uh, her work, and uh, it's amazing. The cards are beautiful. They have pops of color in them, and they're very easy to read along the uh, um, ideology of the ideology. Is that correct? Iconography of the uh, Rider Waite system. So. We, uh, this is a, a way for you to look at the cards and for me to get them mixed up without uh, being too harsh on them in my shuffling, which I will also do some shuffling too. So, if you're one of my regular viewers, thank you so very much for coming back again and again and again. It really means a lot to me. And if you're a new viewer, I hope you enjoy these readings and you'll uh, you know, subscribe. It makes a huge difference. There's steps that I can't take on YouTube until I have enough subscribers, and it's a lot. So please, if you would just subscribe, it uh, will help me uh, move my journey uh, on down this road along. And if you won't subscribe, then I guess my journey is just supposed to take a little longer than I hoped it would. That's all I can say. So we're going to lay these out and we're going to see what we get for Mama Trump. Okay, six cards right off the top. One, two, three, four, five and six. Done. Save these because we're going to need four more in a minute. And I'm going to look at this uh, camera to make sure it's still filming. Let's see. It looks like it's doing what it's supposed to. All right. So the signifier card for Mama Trump. And remember, you know, this is the, the woman that he spent his childhood. We all do. You want the adoration and the approval and of your mom. And uh, it looks like this woman was... I don't know, adept at just turning her head on some things, and um, it wasn't to the, the betterment of her son. The signifier card for this is the emperor. And you know what? It looks like Mama was in charge of the household in that family. She certainly was in charge of raising the kids, so the emperor. But what was the challenge to that for her? What was the challenge to Mama being the emperor of her little Trump family? And it was, oh, my God, the end of cycles, death. So the challenge to being in charge of, of everything that was going on is the end of cycles, death. I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe it'll come to me in just a minute. But that's, that's very strong and very severe. Interesting. Death. End, end of something. Hard stop. And something new starting again. Hmm. The basis of this reading then for Mama Trump is the Four of uh, Wands. You know, the Four of Wands are small celebrations, uh, plans, uh, stepping stones perhaps, along the way to a bigger uh, hopeful celebration later, hopefully a celebration later. So the basis of this reading, it looks like, you know what, this now starts to make sense to me, because she was the emperor, challenged by end of cycles. It looks like every time she made uh, a victory, that she had to start over again. 
Every little step forward was the end of that victory, and you start over again with another one. And what an exhausting life that must have been. In the past of this reading for Mama Trump is the Daughter of Wands. The Daughter of Wands is the Page of Wands. The Page in the Royal Court cards is the least um, powerful of the Royal cards. And so she was, you know, in, in the total scheme of things, in her family, uh, with her husband and her children, she was the one, the least effective of bringing a plan, bringing action, bringing motion. She was the least valuable uh, in the eyes of the uh, actual emperor, which had been uh, Freddie Trump. Now the, uh, or Fred Trump, the dad. Now the um, sky for Mama Trump in this regard is the Ace of Wands. So yeah, her aim was to be you know, the big uh, uh, planner of what happens in her family. But it didn't uh, work out uh, quite that way, I don't think. I think what she did, I want this death card to show because it's so important. And uh, at the same time that this uh, Ace of Wands is important. Um, she, she wanted to be the one in charge of making the plans, but she never, ever, ever was until her husband passed on. And then, oh my gosh, the likely outcome of all of this is death. So uh, is it death? That's the nine of, of, of swords. Uh, let me double check my cheat sheet over here, which I do have. And uh, it's nightmares. Oh, it's nightmares. It's not death. It's nightmares. So, yeah. So it's always worrying with all these nine of swords, always worrying that uh, there's something else happening. There's another shoe that's going to drop and your life is never, um, you know, a happy situation, really. Uh, it might be a rich situation. You might have everything you want. But when you lay your head down at night, God knows what that woman was worrying about uh, was going to appear the next day. Uh, so the um, sig the signifier of Mama Trump, uh, Donald's uh, Mama, Donald Mommy, is going to be the star. Huh. So she was a star in Donald's life. I mean, she really was the one that, that uh, I think he craved uh, her uh, um, approval and probably could win it. Every time one of these little victories came around, he could win that approval, but then the whole process had to start again to win another one, and to win another one, and to win another one, and it was all a nightmare. The environment that Mama Trump was in then is going to be the Father of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, she's the King of Pentacles. She's in the environment of her husband. He ran it all. She, she, any progress she was going to make was going to stop when he said it was going to stop, and it was going to start again when he said it was going to start again. The uh, hopes and the fears for Mama Trump is uh, the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a great big uh, uh, offering of, of value. And I guess her hope was to be uh, uh, important uh, in that family. And I guess she carved out uh, some little niche uh, where she could, could be that. Um, I don't know. I haven't studied uh, her life, and I don't think there's much uh, published to study. I could be wrong. But then the final outcome in this regard, let's go way over here for that, is going to be the Five of, of Wands, and of course it is. The Five of Wands is conflict, um, disillusionment, uh, not being able to come to a conclusion. Um, it's, it's conflict, but without bloodshed, but with, without uh, satisfaction. So, sadly, this looks like this is the reading for Mama Trump. Okay, so that was the reading for Mama Trump, and... Um, you know, our parents are uh, who shape us and who decide uh, how we're going to uh, come out, even when they don't realize that that's uh, what's happening. Because so many people have children without uh, thought to the, the other part of it. So I don't know. I'm just rambling on here. But hopefully you enjoyed the reading, and uh, I'm so excited to have done them. I actually busted all these readings out in one day and kept changing a shirt so they'd look fresh for you. See what I do for you? Well, listen, my name's Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Obviously, I'm having a good time. Why wouldn't you have a good time? So come on back tomorrow, and we'll go somewhere else then. Okay? Ciao for now.